Lindra Toso the Hida Dosh. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Holy Ghost, take your place. Take your place. Be thou exalted. Be thou exalted again this morning. Hallowed be your holy name forevermore. Thank you for all that you have been doing for us since this altar started on the 1st of June. Thank you, Jesus. For everyone that is coming into the Zoom room, thank you for coming in. I can see my dear beloved sister, Sarah Daniel. I'm excited to see you here. Welcome, Pastor Yinka Boafo, who took us to another level last night. She was one of our prayer partners for the month of June. And I can see Omomi Akinto be all the way from Canada. She has been our consistent partner on this platform, agreeing with us to intercede for our lives, for communities, for families, and for nations. I want to remind us of our anchor scripture again this morning. It is in the book of Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 6. And I will read it through to... I will read it through to verse 8. It says, The Lord our God spoke unto us in Oreb, saying, Ye have dwelt long enough in this mount, in this mount, saying, Turn ye and take your journey, and go to the mount of the Amorites, and unto all the places right thereunto, in the, hill, in the plains, in the hills, and in the vale, and in the south, and by the seaside, to the land of the Canaanites, and unto Lebanon, unto the great river, the river Euphrates. Behold, I have set the land before you. Go, go in and possess the land, which the Lord swear unto your fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, to give unto them and to their seed after them. Hallelujah, hallelujah. That is the word that God has given to us on this altar for this month of june he says go out you have stayed too long on that mountain our god is a god that loves us to continue to move that cannot live by bread alone but you will live and we move by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of the lord what is the now word for your life god is saying we should move move into all the areas around about us take territories in his name he has given us the land to possess god does not want us to be stagnant god does not want us to be stand still every season of our life there's still much more to do for god there's still a higher level than the level that you are in right now what is the now word for your life and what is limiting you because we have jesus we cannot be limited he wants us to go take the mountains around you Take the mountains of family and possess it for Jesus. Take the mountain of government, possess it for Jesus. Take the mountain, you know, of communities around about the community you belong to, in your education, in your career, in your neighborhood, where you live, in your association, your fellowship, the people you fellowship with. Take the mountain and throw the lord jesus and throne him in everything that he represent in the life of a believer take the mountain of media take all of the mountains take the mountain of um of um armed forces take the mountain of entertainment take the mountain of fashion Take or even all the grounds that the enemy has taken from you. He said, go in and possess them. He has given it to us. Take it and, and let the righteousness of our God be exalted. And right now, I just want to remind somebody again this month that you are, you are leveling up. It's our month of leveling up. So anything that is limiting you, that will not allow you to ascend, to level up, but the force of the word that has come forth from this altar this morning this month for the month of june that god has given us on this platform begin to level up in the name of jesus i am speaking this word even according to how one of our sister that spoke last night you know one of the prayer points she said 
everything that is not allowing you to you know to ascend to enter the next level will be leveled by the power of the lord in the name of jesus i'm asking that the power of the holy ghost will level everything that is limiting you that will not allow you to ascend into your next level in the name of jesus things are shifting changing and moving into a greater brightness of the glory of god upon your life upon my life in our families in our communities around about us and in the nations where we are represented every nation where you are as a child of god a person of the kingdom you are representing christ you are an ambassador so because you are there the bible says we are the light of the world we are the salt of the earth our presence we we you know take over illuminate every darkness in our world so this morning i'm praying for someone under the sound of my voice anything that is limiting you that is not allowing you to move into the fullness of who you are in christ representing him in character representing him through the words that come out of your mouth representing him in your conduct in your attitude if people see you that they are not seeing christ in you whatsoever it is that the enemy has brought upon your life and your destiny that diminishes the image of christ in your life that you are not able to ascend into the next level this morning in the name of jesus i'm asking and i'm praying that the light of god shines into those areas of your life in the name of jesus and the power of the holy spirit breaks every other power every contrary forces that is trying to diminish the glory the presence of god the name of god in your life that is holding you back from ascending into the fullness of who God has created you and I to be. In the name of Jesus, anything that is limiting from the background of your life, from the background of my life, from anything that concerns, you know, your destiny here on earth. Mahanda kablahire doko makunda kamblahanda. I'm asking that the power that is resident in the name of God, the power of the Holy Ghost, Mahanda kablahiko boshaya, the power that raised Jesus Christ from death, Mahanda kalahire dosha. We draw you out of every situation that is holding you bound, that is holding you down, that is limiting you, that is destroying the very essence of god in your life and your destiny in the name of jesus i'm asking that the power of god will pull you up for you to move and to be shifted into the next level for your life and your destiny for your life for my life for the lives of us many people that are under the sound of my voice at this hour in the name of jesus begin to move into a greater brightness in the name of jesus it's a new day it's a new order it's a new chapter as many people that can you know key into the word that is coming forth from this altar in this month june god you know specifically ministered to me that is going to be everything new everything new starting from your inside first and foremost because when god is speaking when God wants to change our situation, when God wants to change whatever we are going through, when God wants to change the seasons of our lives, He starts from us. He starts from the inside of us. He starts from everything that we are because we have to represent Him in righteousness. That is where He starts from. We always miss it. We think, okay, God wants to change the season of my life. You know, then let Him bless me with money. You know, um... I had the privilege to call somebody last night that God gave me a word from. And I said, God loves you. And and he said, I, I should tell you that he loves you so much. And um, he wants to do something new about your life. And he wants you to move higher. Move higher. Come into the next level with him. You know, he wants to do something wonderful with your life. But he wants you to climb higher in him. He said, and he responded. And that, that cracked me up, you know. And it just shows how much we we limit god in our relationship in our fellowship with him and he said ah he loves me so he wants to bless me with money i said he wants to bless you much more than money yes he will he will bless you with money you know coming into christ is coming into the abundant life he said he has come to give us life and to give it to us even more abundantly but first and foremost he wants us to come into him in truth and in spirit to come into fellowship with him 
in righteousness. That is why it says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And every other thing shall be added. Every other thing shall be added unto you, added unto us. But we always put the us before the cat. Yeah, I think that is the word. We put the horse before the cat. First and foremost, when God is calling you into a higher realm, is going to call you to first deal with yourself because he knows that what is about to do with your life what is releasing you into if you do not deal with you know your demons <laughs> the demons that have been pursuing you all of your life the demons in your character the demons in your attitude the demons in your conduct the demons in how you relate to other other fellow human beings it might limit or it might destroy you at the peak of what god as in store for you and god is a good good father when he's calling us into a higher realm he wants everything to be done in perfection he calls us into a place of perfection when he told abraham and say abraham come come out out of your kindred your father's house come out and i'm sending you into a land even though abraham did not know where he was going god told him one word he said come before me and be thou perfect oftentimes we are always saying it's not it's, it's not possible to be perfect but in god all things are possible all things are possible we might not be perfected all true and true but once your heart is set on perfection that is all you need it is the holy spirit that will do the remaining work i'm praying for somebody right now under the sound of my voice whatsoever is limiting you by self self because oftentimes when god is pushing us into the next level when he wants us to enter into the fullness of everything that he has created us to be to enter into the fullness of his call upon our life in our destiny what first limits us is our self and that self starts with our mindset and you know god will be telling us shift let your mindset shift the way i want to position you right now is nothing like you have ever seen it's nothing like you have ever known it's a dimension that is not natural i want your mind to shift to the supernatural i want you to remember that on this platform throughout this year the one god also gave to us is supernatural manifestation god is going to be doing some unusual thing in our lives and you have to come out of the box come out of this natural mindset of men because everything god wants to do with us at this same set time is as he has created it created it to be in the foundation of the earth when he put adam and eve in that garden and there was a fall the reason why he sent jesus is for us to come back into that same original position he created us in his image and in his likeness in the fullness of him that is who he created us to be and why christ died for you and for me people is more than what we are looking at is for us to return back to that original image and this morning i'm praying for somebody under the sound of my voice that everything that has diminished you in god everything that has reduced your life everything that has reduced your destiny everything that has taken you out of the position that god has ordained for your life i'm asking that the power of redemption will shift you back right now into divine alignment in the name of Jesus into divine repositioning that your heart will be engaged with the heart of the Holy Ghost we submit to the to the leading and you know the, the, the leading the leadership of the Holy Spirit so that it begins to re-engineer your life it begins to repair your life it begins to bring healing at every level it begins to restore you in every area that has been damages to your destiny in the name of Jesus, Mahanda Kablehi I ask that there will be a shifting right now. I ask that there will be a changing by the power of the Holy Ghost. And the Holy Ghost will move into every situation of our lives, of our families our communities the different communities that we, we we belong to everywhere there has been a decay everywhere that god's mandate has been you know a, a, this a, a trampled upon you know has been taken out of place in even the nations that we represent the locations and the different nations where we are in i'm asking now that the power of god will begin to bring everything back to divine alignment the divine order divine repositioning oh that as it is in heaven it will be done here on earth in the name of jesus because coming into christ in the fullness of who he has called us to be
be is the only way that we can possess our possession that we can take territories that we can go into all the areas that god is calling us to come up higher into that go go into all of the mountains around about you just like he told the children of Israel, go, possess the land. I gi I've given it to you, even as I've promised your father Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And you know, the promises of God are yea and amen. They are...